What's going on guys? Today we're going to create this stroke animation inside DaVinci Resolve. In order to create this animation, you will need to have an SVG file of your logo. In this tutorial, I'll be using this Twitter logo. Yeah, so I've saved this as an SVG file. Uh, it's right here, Twitter SVG file. So open up DaVinci Resolve and we're going to create a fusion composition. So under generate uh, generators, you have the fusion composition. So we just drag it onto the timeline and then we can just go straight ahead inside the fusion tab. And uh, here we just have to go to the top here fusion and just have to click on import and import and then click on SVG. So then you just have to basically browse for the location where you have this SVG file. So it's right here, Twitter. I'm going to double click on it to open it up. And then it's going to give me the width and the height that you want to use. So I'll just use maybe, I don't know, 600 by 600. It's going to be linked. Uh, these are linked the width and the height. So let's just click on OK. All right. So this is our group. If you double click on this, you can see we have this path and the background node right in this group. So uh, to view this, what you can do is just simply click on this little circle icon. Um, so if you click on the left one, it's going to display this SVG on the left side. If you click on the right circle, it's going to dis display on the right side. So I just want it to be on the left. Then what we want to do is we just want to add a background. So right click, add tool and uh, we can add a background or we can just uh, hit shift spacebar on your and our keyboard and just search for it. So it's right here, background and click on add. Here's our background node. Uh, we can view it by simply clicking on this right circle icon thing, or we can just simply drag this node onto the uh, viewer and just display it on the right side. And here we can just uh, change our color and stuff like that. So uh, I'm just going to leave it as it is. Uh, make sure that your node is selected. It's just shift spacebar again and search for the oops, uh, search for the paint tool and click on add and now it's added so we can just link it just like that um let's view this paint tool so just drag it onto the viewer so this is our paint tool and what you want to do right here is i want to go uh you can see when you select the paint node click on it you get all these different tools right here want to use this one that says polyline polyline stroke just click on that and you can see right over here it's selected polyline stroke one and we have these three options to play with so we want to go inside the stroke control so just expand that and right at the bottom you will see right click here for shape animation so we're going to do that right click on it and then we're going to select connect to path to and then polyline so once you do that you'll see that your logo will appear on the right side and now we can simply animate. I don't know why it gets stretched. Um, uh, maybe it's because uh, this is 1920 by 1080 composition and this is 600 by something. Uh, I don't know the reason, but let's just animate it. Let's just try to animate this. So uh, we have this right on effect, right on controller or the slider right here. So we can just uh, simply drag it and you can see that just uh, creates this simple stroke animation. So we can just basically keyframe this. So I'm going to, it's right here, as you can see, it's uh, our timeline right over here. I'm gonna go to 30 frames. So you can see our red playhead, it's at 30 right now. You can also double check it right over here. See, say it says 30 right over here. So that means your playhead is at the 30th frame. So I'm gonna create a keyframe. So how do we create a keyframe? Just uh, double, just click single click on this diamond icon and it will turn red so that means that you have created a keyframe at the 30th frame now let's go back to the very first frame which is zero and again i'm going to create a keyframe so just click on it to create a keyframe and at the very first frame i want the right on and i want its end this right here to be zero so i can just drag this slider and put it at zero so now if we play this, you can see we have this animation, right? So that's how easy it is to create this uh, kind of animation. 
Now what you what I want to do is I just want to make sure that it it's centered in the composition and also it's uh, not stretched. So uh, what to do that? So you just have to again select your paint tool, paint node. Let's just space bar on the keyboard and add a transform node. So you can search for transform and click on add. Then in the transform node, we can just size this down. So you can decrease the size and you can also drag this transform node to the viewers to see what we are doing. And also in the background node, I want to turn down its opacity. So I want to make it transparent. So to do that, you can you have these sliders that you want to play with. So we can just drag the slider to the top and it's going to make it transparent. Right, so in the transform, then we can just uh, resize this and still looking stretched. So I can just change the uh, aspect value and just increase this a bit and again resize this. And so I think that is looking fine. So I can just resize this a bit more. And if you want to change the stroke, uh, stroke uh, width so we can also select the paint tool and go to brush controls and you have the option to increase the size and uh, softness as well so i'm going to what i'm going to do is i want to change the brush shape so right now it's selected uh, it's uh, the soft brush is selected i want to change that to circular and it's just going to look much better with that um and there we have it so if we play it through we have this animation so now i want to create a background i want to create a background behind this animation so to do so to do that we need a background node so you can just search for it or you can just click on this icon which is right at the which is ready first i can just click on it to add a background node and we also need to add a merge node which is right here just click on it and now what we want to do is so say if we hover our mouse cursor to this point, it says background. And uh, if we mouse hover our mouse on this icon, it says foreground. We want to connect, want to make sure our logo is, the animation is at the foreground. So I can just simply connect this with the foreground. And our background is connected with the background of this merge node. So now if we go to the background tree, select it, and we can you know simply change its color to a different color. and we can view this the all these changes by dragging this merge node into the viewer and there we have it maybe change the size a bit right so that will look much better okay now all we have to do is just connect the merge with the media out and this will be our final animation also i want to go to the spline just click on it and i'm going to select the end because that's all that we are animating we are animating the end right on end effect so i'll uh, just zoom it you can click on this icon to zoom into these two keyframes basically and i'm going to select these two keyframes i'm going to make them smooth keyframes i'm going to hold the alt key on the keyboard and just um, create a slope like this and now if we preview this uh, we'll have this simple animation I can just create different kind of graphs and make your animation look different. So maybe something like this. Um, and yeah, that's just about it. If you go back to edit tab, you have your animation right over here. And uh, our fusion comp, this clip is too big, so I can just resize this or crop it and now you can just simply go to the deliver tab and export your animation so that's just about it that's how you can create this animation inside uh, davinci resolve if you have any questions let me know in the comments below if you want to see more of these tutorials let me know in the comments as well uh, thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one